It's your boy, Kemi, back again. Another video, except it's different this time. We're gonna show more weekly content for you guys. So it's more so like showing you what I do for a living, showing you in the barber shop, stuff like that. Obviously, for those of you who know what I do for a living, barber by day, sneaker alchemist by night. But stay tuned, check out the video, let me know what you think. Make sure you hit that like button, comment, subscribe if you wanna see more daily vlogs. Also, tell me more of what you wanna see as well. So stay tuned, check it out. Right now we're just putting the cape around our client. So what we're gonna do is he wants a high ball fade and he wants a four on top, trim the beard down, make him look HD. So sit back, enjoy the process. Always disinfect your clippers. The first thing I do before I start cutting a new client. A lot of guys don't do this, but these are the little things you need to do to keep your client sanitized. Right now we're just putting in the ball line, so we're gonna take it as a high ball fade. So my clippers are fully closed. I'm just balling it out right now. So right now we're gonna be using the Adnus Teal liner for this part, creating our ball fade. So the client asks for our number four on top. So we're just taking a number four, we're gonna go against the grain with this kind of hair to take it down. You can probably take it with the grain, but nothing much will come off. So we go against the grain on this part, make sure it's all even. For me, I always use my blow dryer mid cut just to blow hair off, makes it a lot easier. You don't want the client getting itchy from the hair. So that's what I always use. I keep my blow dryer next to me all the time. So right now I'm using the Adonis foil. It makes the ball fade look super low. It's almost like making the fade look like a baby's ass, pretty much how ball it gets if you want a smoother surface to work on. And it kind of makes it look a lot better too as well. But you can use this on everybody because everyone has different skin. Some people can break out from this, but his skin is not sensitive at all. So this is what we always use on his fade. So right now I'm gonna be going up with the number one guard about half an inch to just create the first guideline so we can see where the fade's gonna start. So right now we're gonna be using the wall one and a half guard to go up another inch just to create our second guideline because the one equals the one and a half. So after the one and a half guard, we're gonna go with the number two, and we're gonna go straight up and remove some of the bulk. So right now, after the number two guard, we're gonna go to the number three guard. As you can see, it looks a little bit bigger. So we're just cleaning up the, the rest of the bulk before we move on to the detail work of fading. So this will probably be the hardest part right now, blending from skin to hair. So we're gonna just take out that hard line out right now with the half guard. So right now I'm gonna be taking my Andis Tail liner and trying to flick the rest of that line out right there as you can see. I'm just lightly flicking it to get the rest of the line out right there that's linking the hair to the skin. So just use your liners gently and you see the line come out gradually. So 
So after flicking that line out just now, I'll be using the Anders foil again just to go over it and make sure it's completely out, just getting a little tiny bit more detail out of it. So after you've done this, all the ball lines should be out right now. You should be ready to continue fading up. So I'm fading the beard in right now. So I'm going to be starting with the one and a half guard. I'm going to gradually move to the number one guard. And we're going to fade the beard in lightly. Because I normally start with a bigger guard. So you don't want to take it down too low. You know what I mean? Like he doesn't want to skin fade on the beard or anything like that. So just start with the one and a half guard and take it to number one. So right now we're going to be doing the hairline. So I normally start in the middle of the forehead and I work my way to the corners just to get that detail in. Because you don't want to start from the corners and you move your way to the front and it's all messed up. So this is just my way of doing it. Start in the middle and move gradually to the corners. So now it's time for the detail work. So we're gonna be using the Elegant Shave Gel. So we're gonna give him a, a wet shave and we're just gonna make the beard a little bit more crispy using the straight razor. This is how you make your money with your detail work. So remember what I said, it's all in the detail work. So right now I'm just gonna be adding some enhancement to the beard, making the beard look a little more darker and fuller right now. So, so right now we're just gonna be adding a few more enhancements to the hairline at this point now, making the hairline a little bit more crispy.